Hello there. General Kenobi. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avert and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. We are doing the third video for Star Wars month, or I guess this third form video here for Star Wars month, and it's going to be covering Shirishu, the resilience form. This lightsaber form was developed as a direct response to the fact that blaster technology was becoming cheaper and more readily available, making it more common on the battlefield. Rooting this form in laser deflection training. This form is emphasized on a non-aggression philosophy, focusing on defense characterized by tight, efficient movements that expose minimal target area. Form 3 masters are actually considered to be invincible. This form arguably represents Jedi philosophy most accurately. It emphasizes passism above almost everything else. As far as moveset, this form is fairly simple. Featuring rapid transitions between different static blocking stances and staying centered and balanced and never wasting energy. Now, the main downside of this form is that it has an inherent lack of special attacks. There are offensive components and strikes you can do, but it is based on counterattacks more often than not. General Obi-Wan Kenobi is credited to be the reigning master of this style of lightsaber combat, and he is credited by none other than Mace Windu, one of the best lightsaber duelists of all Star Wars. Obi-Wan was able to defend off General Grievous with this defensive form. Now, if you don't follow the Star Wars lore very closely, that may not sound like that big of a thing, but Grievous was a Jedi killer. He was able to do this because he can deliver more than 10 strikes per second when he has all four arms going. And Obi-Wan Kenobi was able to not only defend himself, but defeat General Grievous. Now the best tactic for this form is to basically hang tight and wait them out. Letting your opponent get tired and wear themselves down and open themselves for a counterattack. Using figure eights by spinning your wrist to put a guard around your entire body is often used to do this tactic successfully. Now let's get into some combinations you can practice at home. Alright, so I'm going to show you four different things and they're all going to build off of each other in some way or another. So, pay very close attention and let's get going. First, we're going to start off with our simple figure eight. These are fairly easy but can be confusing to someone that doesn't quite know what they're doing yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make bigger circles so that you can break them down. You're going to take your lightsaber, you're going to aim it around your body and all the way around on the left side. Then you're going to keep it making that giant circle on your right side. This will be a giant eight pattern if you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You can see an infinity sign that you're making with yourself in the mirror. This goes all the way around. Now, the trick to making this a figure eight or a proper figure eight is instead of using your entire body and your entire arm like this right here, you're gonna be using just your wrist. So you're just going to want to make little circles, smaller circles, maybe switch to just using your elbow and then switch to just using your wrist. And, and then you'll be at this point where you can make circles fairly quickly, fairly easily without any extra effort being wasted with these giant big movements, if that makes sense. Now, for those of you who have gotten that part of the video, we're going to be doing the opposite of what we just did, which is going to be the backwards figure eight. This one, instead of following your, your blade First, you're gonna follow your blade back, making that same eight, or I guess infinity pattern, just like this. Now again, just like before, doing, ooh, that was fun. Just like before, making it with just the elbow, and then make even smaller with just the wrist, will allow you to do these simple figure eight patterns that require minimal movement and put the guard around your body. So we're gonna be moving on and going to the next two combos, which are strikes out of those two figure eight blocking motions. All right, so we're gonna be starting off with our figure eight, just like this, our forward figure eight, nice and tight, keeping it nice and tight. Now, when you come around to the back side, to your same side, when it's going around the back, you're gonna come above your head and block low, just like this. So you're doing that circle, just like, just like so. 
You're gonna come around the side and block low. All together, it's gonna look something like this. So when you're at this low block, just like this, you're going to step through, bring that, that saber around and slash through just like that. So one more time, it's gonna come in a circle just like so. Around the back, block one, around again, slash through and all together it looks something like this. Our next one will be a backwards figure eight and striking out of this. So we're gonna be doing our backwards figure eights just like this, nice and tight, not wasting any energy. When it comes around the back, you're gonna grab it with two hands and block above your head. So one more time, just like this. Backwards figure eight, backwards figure eight, around the back, grab with two hands, and block it, just like this. Now from here, you're gonna come around and slice off that head. Just a good old decapitation. Ready, one more time, just like this, all the way through, grabbing it on the back side, blocking and striking. Full speed, it'll look something like this. All right guys, so that is it for this video. If you wanna see the rest of this series, check out the playlist down below. I think I have a special Star Wars playlist for you guys if you're interested in just seeing the Star Wars stuff. If you like this shirt that I'm wearing, the One Man Army shirt, check out I'm a Ninja on Instagram. They don't actually pay me to mention that. I just really like this shirt and really like that company. So with all that said, I'll catch you next time because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.